How's it going? Salt Tire here. Uh, this is part four of my Rome Total Realism 8 Let's Play. Um, before I go any further, um, I'll just let you know there's a link in the description below. Uh, go on, click on it, go and download the mod if you haven't done so already and show a bit of support for the, the guys at the project. I just think it's fantastic that um, there's people still doing mods for Rome Total War 1, which in my opinion is better, always has been better than Rome 2, apart from maybe from the graphics obviously, but the, the depth uh, is way beyond the means of Rome 2 in my opinion, and I mean my preference is for playing uh, Rome Total War, well mainly with its mods, and that's why, you know, you, that's what I offer on this channel. Uh, along with, I'll, I'll have the occasional dabble at Medieval 2 Total War, but I always, my preference is for Rome Total War. But these guys do a great job. Uh, the work that goes into making one of these mods is unbelievable. I haven't got a clue where to start, <laughs> to be honest with you, but... And uh, knowing what goes into it, having read the, some of the dialogue between them discussing points to make the mod better, is uh, well, it's way over my head. But yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I begin. I've got real into this mod, and even though this is only part four, so like I said, the uh, link is in the description. Click on it, download the mod, and show some support to these guys. They're doing a fantastic job. Right, let's get on with the um, our war. Okay, so Espanus is over here in um, Olisipo, and I'm going to bring his army out and send it north to up here at the Cantabrian Mountains. Uh, this this is sort of made up of three regions. Is Galicia here, Asturia, and uh, Cantabria here, just next to the Pyrenees? And I think it's, I'm, I'm, I know there's a settlement up around here, and I'm pretty sure there's another one over here somewhere. They're close to each other. There might even be a third one up here because I notice these mine, mines here. So, but I, I, I don't know the. Different mods have different settlements uh, up in this area, so we're going to have a look with my spy now and find out exactly what is there. Send them up here first of all. There doesn't appear to be anything there. On my bed. Whoa! On my bed. Creaky. Now I landed right in the centre of it. Okay, so that's uh, Astorica, which may extend because that area is actually. Astoria. Um, where's my other? Now that we know that's there, we can get this guy up here somewhere. Have a look. On my bed. Ah, I just seen something there. On my bed. There we go. This area. This is Cantabria here. It leads down to the Pyrenees, and that settlement's called Aras Arasilum. Okay, so they're both on our agenda for conquering. Let's get the guys up there and let's see what I can get uh, out of this settlement. Now, there isn't much to merge together there, is there? Um, let's see. If we leave that unit behind, probably by lowering the taxes, we'll be, be alright. Hmm. Should have a look. There we go, that's okay. Right, so we can get um, Ipanis uh, and his army up <coughs> closer to, uh, move. Unable to, move. to a settlement move and get spies in now. Good, good, good. 100% with you as well. And you go, 45%. Now, and 100% and you go as well. So there's a 60% chance that they should manage to open the gates 
That is unless, of course, they get kicked out for If they get kicked out on the turn, then I'll just drop them back in again and see what we can do. Now, we've got this army here that's sort of like posing a threat to Cordoba. Uh, what have they got? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a cavalry unit. Okay, I'll come back to that in a sec. Let's get another army down here. Yes. Uh, we could add to it, couldn't we? No, we won't, because they're expensive. Yeah, bugger that. We'll go in here. I think we'll be alright to take you out and join up. And we'll send, uh, what's his name, Epcurus. Epcurus. We'll send you around to that settlement. Forward. March. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, now I'm pretty sure the Romans are going to come calling before much longer, so we really need to get crawl control of the whole Iberian Peninsula so that will mean unfortunately breaking our allegiance to the Celtic tribes but that's Numantia that could be a pretty good uh, military hub so I want it simple as don't want anybody well they're not uh, they're not Iberian so we'll kick their asses out and then we'll look at where we're going to go from there but I am fully expecting the Rom Romans to uh, come and come and knocking at the door. Uh, while we're over here, where's my uh, diplomat? He's down here in Illyria. Sorry, no, that's not Illyria. Illyria is up this part of the coast. This is Ayatolia, I think. It comes under all this area here. Is it modern day Bulgaria around here or something, isn't it? Anyway. Your He's done his business there, that's cool. Where's, I've got a spy, mate. There he is. So yes, there. We'll bring him down here for a butcher's. Okay. Now they're under siege from the Hellenic city states. So if I Sir, uh, come down here, strike up an alliance with them. Of course we want a normal backhander of a thousand talents, if we can get it that is. Thank you very much. Now we can't get to the Antigonids, so, um, oh yes we can, we can go to Larissa here. Uh, now if we can get an alliance with them, that will break that siege. We want them to be pressurising the Romans more than anything, so. But they'll probably end up just going back to war with one another afterwards. Let's see. Yeah, they're open to it. Trade rights, map, map information, and they'll be able to trade back hander if we can get it. Terrific. There we go. And that siege should be broken. There we go. We're all allies. See, we're all friends together now. How nice is that? Lovely stuff. Right then, move these guys on. Where's uh, that spy? Now we've already got the Dacians on board yeah, anyway, so we want to go. Can, is there a land bridges in this mod? Oh, there is. Look at that. That's handy, Harry. Off you go. Same with. Now I'll use the land bridges for my spies and diplomats only. Uh, the, the idea of land bridges is actually to favour the AI so that it can expand. Um, but I mean, come on, let's face it, I mean, land bridges across the sea, I mean, it's just not on, is it? You can't, I mean, I prefer, I, I role play a little bit, or quite often, I suppose, I don't know. Uh, I prefer to... Um, have my army travel by ship because that's feasible. It's not feasible that an army should have a land bridge across the bloody sea. But the, the land bridge can simulate that the diplomat and the spies can get there by their own means, you know, like hitching a ride on a ship like a spy. A spy can sneak onto a ship, can't he? You know what I mean? A diplomat 
he can cross a hand or two of a silver or profit himself as a rent boy I bet he'll get he'll get to go where he wants to wants to be so but it doesn't work for armies and I will use ships to transport them across any sea sea that they have to okay now back to our territory we're all sorted all around so I think we're going to take care of these um, these guys here okay what have I got again four yes. units and we we'll get two ah oh, that's plenty take care of these you can jo join in under my control I remember playing um, the 2.0 Platinum version on the Alex engine of this mod and it had different music from this, I quite liked it as well. There are many roads to victory. Today our way will be paved with the skulls of our enemies. Show no mercy as you walk this path. Yeah, I'll do, not said. Yeah, a different, I'm sure it had different music from this, I quite liked the music on it, I remember it. Now our settlement should be up here to our left somewhere. There it is up there. So the reinforcements will come from this direction. So we want these guys. Right here. And we'll put the cavalry there. Now I'm, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm pretty certain they'll, they'll be on the high ground here. Or maybe even this high ground. There's every possibility. Nah, nah that don't seem. The, nah, I'm pretty sure they'll be over here because they're valid there on high ground. It makes sense. That's an educated guess. Put it that way. Stretch them a little bit. Right, that's it. Okay, let's start the battle. New warriors have well, there you go, the there they are. Yeah, it seemed quite the obvious, enemy. bit of a valley. Well, they're coming down, that's, I didn't expect that. Thought, I thought it would sit up there. Warriors, now, they've got slingers and skirmishers, so we, them slingers are going to pepper us to bits, aren't they? Okay. Full I want them to... Put the shield cavalry into that, those trees there for now, and we'll bring this this guy up. These guys up here, we'll get them up quite sharp, actually. Oh, I don't like that the way that is. That'll do it. Too far ahead. Hi guys. should take care of them okay straight into them actually let's attack them without um the enemy warlord flees from our warriors attack and drive them back in the same way that's it get in there Oh, I can't even skate. Come on, you're joking. Oh, we got him. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! 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 
Okay, come on, boys. Stand your ground now. Don't mind them getting away. We want to get over 85% of them killed, and we've got the captain killed. Anvil, she sort them all out. Yeah, the enemy flee mate. from the field like frightened goats, hunt them down and it didn't seem very potent charge right enough. Um, these have not got spears, but these are good spears and they've got spears. guys are pretty much done, we'll put them there out of the way and we'll let the cavalry get after them. Let's get after these guys, get down low beside them. Got behind you, you need to come here, guys. That's it, you have to get behind them and then go again. Nah, you never catch them. Damn it. Have we got 85? We should have 85% by now. 96, oh, job done. How many do we lose? 13%? Ooh, that's a lot. Well, we can this retrain. This is a great victory! The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Okay. 101 is not too bad. What's the replay? Oh. So it's just under a hundred. Well, we can get them retrained in Cordoba. Whoever's missing, however many's missing. I probably lost a little bit less if I hadn't rushed it so much. I did rush it a little bit. I usually take my time. Okay, put you into cut your dub and get you retrained. Does it need it? I'll get it. Don't need that spy in a minute. Put him in the back of the queue, actually. And then we'll put him in the back of the queue. Now then. Orders. All ready, let's go to the next turn. Ah. Kicked their spies out. Buggers. War declared done. No, I thought they might go to war again. Ah, well, we don't care. We'll just support anybody. I couldn't give a toss, really. Yeah, tough luck. Coming of age. All the sepal. Alright. He must be a Panis's son then. Let's have a look. Hey Panis, yeah, it's his son. That's why he's come of age in that city settlement rather than Cordova. Although I wouldn't have thought their wives and children travelled with him. But he's 15, maybe he's, maybe he's just learning the art of war. Let's have a look and see what his uh, traits are. Feeling poorly. Chance. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Wonderful. 
that's a great name. That's a that's a, a a great word used in Glasgow where I come from. A chancer, a Bengal answer. That's the slang for it. For, all right, so it looks as if I might well just leave him in a settlement. He hasn't got anything to stars, command, nothing there. All right, we'll maybe try and get him educated in a settlement. Uh, right, let's take care of our um, diplomats next. A diplomat, rather. Uh, what we got over here? What do I do with that bloody spy now? Ah, there he is. Yes, master. Hellenic Ptolemax. Well, I suppose we could maybe get something going with them. Who blocked us? Ah, can we get there? Yeah, of course we can. So we'll send you there. We'll do the same with them. Anybody that's going to fight the Romans or the Carthaginians. Get them on our side if we can. They don't want to know, but we'll settle for the alliance. I can't be bothered asking about or this one. And then who else is there? Pontix. Seleucids. So oh, that's a good one. Let's get them up yes. here. In there, where's the uh, my spy? Let's send him up there next to him. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Anybody, anybody that's in, I can make opposition to the uh, Roman, the Romans, uh, is what I want to do. All right, can you get back in again? Ninety-three. Yeah. No, you're only forty-six percent chance. Oh, what's going on there? I might have to wait another time. No, we don't. That's fine. We'll send you to there. And we'll attack this settlement. Again, there's no war chief or anything, so let's get in there. No morale boost. to victory. Today our way will be paved with the skulls of our enemies. Show no mercy as you walk this path. Okay. So that entrance. Right, so what we'll do is um, we'll put these guys here. Move out, tight formation! And the Kutrati. And there we are. Forward! Yeah, it's a bit slimmer so they can get in through the gate. There we are, and we'll leave them there to distract, maybe distract a couple of units while we get in these gates. Of getting range. 
yet. That's the only slingers anyway, so keep them occupied. Who's that there? Oh, Alright. The leader's on foot then. Get there. Get them attacking without chucking any um Warriors. Where are they gonna go? Might kill many of the slingers, mind you. Warriors have taken the walls. Now the streets will run with blood. Right then, so if we get the chieftain just to the gate here, give them the old moral boost. Or oh, morale boost, I should say, <laughs> moral boost. <laughs> hey you, this is a moral. Uh, never mind chucking stuff, just get into them. What's happening down here? Uh, it's a sling fight, isn't it? Uh, they're not very effective, are they? Over walls. It's amazing like some was that they are real effective, like Europa Baborum. 1.2 and I played that, and I was playing a campaign at that. Slingers were quite devastating. But, um, we're really struggling to get through here. Okay, we'll put, take them off, and we'll, this is a little trick I used to use to get, get my men behind to, to walk through the lines and then take them off guard and set them to attack. What's going on with this general? Why isn't he coming in through the gate? <laughs> oh dear. He's can run miles now. Okay. We'll send you down there to smash up these slingers. Go on. In you go. I really don't know what is going on here. Just watching where it, how the 
what where the pathfinding takes them. Wait, let's try that it's just for the crack. See what's happening up here and there. General! Forward! March! With all haste! Linger! Is fire! Kill them! I might have to go up there a bit actually. On our way! Move out! And one of you guys will probably need to attack them. With all haste! How are we doing now? It must be devastating them by now. We can bugger off down there, we don't need you. No, maybe not. Nah, over there, General. We're not going to send you in there. You'll probably get killed. Where's this slingers from up down that sea? Get them up here. And we'll bring the Kisrati up. What are we doing down here? I'm be waiting, bothered waiting for this restaurant to turn up. Let's get the cavalry in there. Smash into the back, so they must be tired. Okay, back out again. Well, there's two men right now. Let's see a slinger. Oh. You have killed the enemy general. We have. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! Infantry, infantry. The enemy flee all from done. the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. Ready! 
We need fight no more. The enemy are in full flight, and the victory is yours. Okay, Craig, 197 men. Oh, that was a bit costly as well, wasn't it? Probably because of fighting on the hardest difficulty. Yeah. But we're getting what nearly 100 back out of that, so not too bad. That's another victory. And another settlement. And that's what we want. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced the, the, the Romans will be. Uh, uh, yeah, I think they'll be uh, a bit more urgent when it comes to trying to defeat them. They're bound to be. Victory! Tougher obstacle, I would think. Okay, so what have we got? We've got Iberian settlers there already. 100 men whole. Well, it says it gives us these Gallic mercenaries, but it doesn't. So, yeah. It's obviously there for that trigger, but I don't intend to let it anyway. The bolt, because we'll look after it. Or I'll look after it. Just more to the point. Orders. Um. Right, let's see if we can get our agents into this. No. Oh, they've performed already, haven't they? Well, okay, we just need to besiege it. Besieging settlement. Okay, and um, we'll deal with that in the next part. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope we can back and watch some more. Bye.